Praise the Lord. What a delight it is to be able to worship the Lord together. And now it gives me great pleasure and a great honor to introduce our General Superintendent, Reverend John Downs. And before he comes and ministers, uh, we want to say how privileged and how blessed we are to have been led by a great uh, leadership and incredible leadership of Brother and Sister Downs over these last 21 years as General Superintendent, serving on the board for 41 years altogether. And this year, he didn't allow his name to run and in essence, retiring from uh, his role on the executive board. But we know he'll continue to be involved heavily in the work of God. And so we are uh, so blessed, and we just want to say how delighted we are uh, for what he has left, the legacy that they have left. And uh, even though we cannot honor him, as it were, in person this year, next year at our next in-person general conference in Canberra, we want to honor Brother and Sister Down, so we want to make sure that you're there in attendance. Uh, but before he ministers, uh, there are some people uh, who have shared a few things that we would like to play to you uh, in honor of this great man and woman of God. Amen. Thank you, Brother and Sister Downs. We love you. Bishop John Downs, 
I am privileged and blessed to know you for 50 years. As leader, you have been a great example. You become my mentor, advisor, a great support and friend, and also to many others. As our superintendent for 21 years, you led the UPC Church of Australia extremely well with the wisdom and love for the people with humble spirit. You left a great legacy. I always treasure you and Sister Deons. Thank you very much for everything you've done for us. God bless you, Brother Deons and Sister Deons, and I really appreciate you. God bless. Loving greetings to all in the precious name of Jesus. We thank him for his mercy, for making a way for us to be together in his presence. We're here to give tribute to our retiring leaders, our beloved brother and sister Downs. They have served us faithfully in the office of General Superintendent for 21 years, and we are so grateful to them for that. I met them about 1976 and found them to be sincere and gentle people. As the years went on, we became firm friends. And during my time as General Superintendent, Brother Downs was a great help to me. Brother Downs has been a dedicated man of God, strong in the apostolic truth. As a leader, he has been an example we have followed and trusted. During his time as our leader, we have seen the United Pentecostal Church of Australia grow to another level as he has faithfully followed God's leading. Brother and Sister Downs were truly anointed of God for this ministry and have proved themselves to be worthy of this position. Today, we honour them and express our love gratitude and deep respect for their devoted service to the work of the Lord. We thank God for his great wisdom in choosing them all those years ago. We wish them every blessing as they retire. May God continue to use them in his service. As we look forward today, let us stand loyally behind our new leaders in love and respect. In all things to God be the glory, Brother Jeff Holden. Today as I greet you, there are a couple of people and their family that I've had the privilege of knowing for quite some time. That's Reverend John Downs and his wife, Sue, and their family. I've had the honor of being in their home and I will have to say that they are some of the most gracious hosts that I've ever been, the, been privileged to be in their home. They took such good care of us. Also, brother and sister Downs are people that represent the church in such a first class way. They're the kind of people that you would be proud to take them before the president or premier of a country and let them know that they are your leader. Not only do they represent us well, but they are people that have had a vision to reach the lost. Brother and Sister Downs, along with the church in Australia, have been key in reaching many of the islands around Australia and around the world. They, are, they have given financially, they have trained people, they are people that really have been part of the Global Council. He was secretary of the Global Council of the United Pentecostal Church International and did a tremendous job. It's kind of a pioneer position because the Global Council is just developing, but he did a tremendous job. And I remember that there were some decisions that we made that were a result of his leadership. I honor Brother and Sister Downs, great people. The effect of their ministry will not just happen right now, but until Jesus comes and then in eternity, there will be people in heaven and there will continue to be people that will be saved as a result of their ministry. Congratulations on this retirement and may God richly bless you and keep you. On behalf of the entire worldwide family of the United Pentecostal Church International, especially Global Missions, we congratulate you and thank you, Brother and Sister Downs. Hi, Brother and Sister Downs. I've been asked to say a few words uh, briefly in relation to your the years that I've known you and now that you're stepping down. I have mixed feelings about it all because part of me has trepidation. I've sat under you for many, many years. 
and yet I understand that this is a new time for you, a time that you want to spend with your grandchildren and enjoy these years with your wife. You've been a wonderful, wonderful general superintendent and you have both given me some wonderful memories that time will never erase. Brother Downs, your courage in accepting and supporting me when I was elected as the Director of Overseas Missions. That was outstanding because I found out later that there were no women on board positions in all of America. So you were a trailblazer for Australia at that time. And it has made a great impression on me, especially when you asked me to accompany you to the Philipp, um, it was it Pan Panama City for the global convention. I didn't really want to go because I knew that I would be the only woman then among all those delegates and it was quite overwhelming. But you encouraged me and you showed great courage and bravery and walking into that venue with all those men and just one old woman with you. You even walked to the front seats and sat there and introduced me to those men. I couldn't believe it. I mean, if it had been me, I would have sat on the back row, but you did not do that. Your kindness, your gentleness, your character, everything about you has displayed the gifts of the Holy Spirit as well as the fruits. When I asked you on a number of occasions to preach and teach when you're in Indonesia and East Timor, you never ever said you were tired or it was inconvenient, but you preached and you taught often circumstances that required sacrifice 100 degree humidity and almost 50 degree temperatures, both in Indonesia and in um, East Timor. You showed great courage and I have you in the Hall of Fame. And whenever I think about you, um, Brother Downs, I think of Dave's mighty men. You have set a wonderful example as a General Superintendent of Australia. And Sister Downs, what can I say? I mean, your example that you have set to our women um, has been wonderful. Tireless, great leadership, no respecter of persons. Your ministry, your kindness has been extended to everyone regardless of station. I have never forgotten your kindness to my sister Sarah, when she accompanied me to Panama City and she didn't know anyone when she was left on her own with the women going to the canal. And she told me that you were so kind to her. Your ministry reaches out to everyone, Sister Sue. I thank you both, but on Sister Downs, for the years that I've been privileged to be under your leadership. You have set a high mark for whoever follows in your position. Enjoy your years of retirement. Enjoy your grandchildren. And know that you have been outstanding in everything that you have done. Hello, brother and sister Downs. Good to see you changing direction. Hope you enjoy your change and your freedoms to be able to do what you always wanted to do, whatever that is. <laughs> okay. My wife and I send you love and yes. best wishes. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, Australia. Thank you for allowing me this privilege to say something for our friend, brother and sister Downs, upon his retirement. When I think of John Downs, the first thing that comes to my mind is the word statesman. So I looked it up. And to be considered a statesman, you have to have four qualities. Number one quality is a man of bedrock principles. Number two quality it states is his life is a moral compass. And number three, it states he is a man of vision. And number four states not only he is, a, is he a man of vision, but he has the ability to motivate others to achieve that vision. Now, I think you'll agree, me, agree with me that Brother Downs exemplifies this definition. 
Australia has seen consistent growth during these past 20 years that he has served as your general superintendent. But not only has he served Australia, he and Sister Downs, Sister Sue Downs, his wife, together have served in the Pacific region. They've been such a great blessing. So let me just say a couple of things that they have been involved with within the Pacific region that I am aware of. I'm sure there's many more. Number one is they are a part of the Indonesia Cooperative, which discusses Indonesia. Number two, Brother Downs recently accepted the responsibility to serve with me upon, on the uh, strategic planning for the Pacific region called the PAC Steering Committee, which I appreciate so much. His vision and his wisdom is so very much appreciated. Australia has jumped on board with Brother Downs in regional missions. And this is the thing that really touches my heart. Australia has been sacrificing. They've been selfless. Let, let, just during my time, let me mention four areas that I know that you've been involved in. You have completely underwritten Timor-Leste as far as leadership and finances. Thank you very much. Brother Downs, you're responsible for that. Also, in uh, Indonesia, you have given wisdom, you've given finances and direction. Thank you so very much. Another area is your sacrificial donations for Kiribati and donations throughout the Pacific region and other parts of the world, especially during times of crisis. Thank you very much for that. One other area that I want to commend Brother Downs for is the complete revamping of the Australia Bible School. This shows me that this is strategic planning at the highest level because it impacts the whole region. Thank you, Brother Downs. Thank you, Sister Downs. You are such leaders and great leaders in these areas. Brother Downs has been a friend to me as the regional director. And uh, Sister Buckland and I are so thankful for their friendship, Brother and Sister Downs, for your friendship. We'll remember you. And I pray that your legacy will continue in the years to come. And I know that it will. We pray God's blessed uh, blessings for you in the years to come. And thank you again so much for this opportunity. God bless you. Best greetings in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ from the United Pentecostal Church of Northeast India to the United Pentecostal Church of Australia on your annual General Conference 2022. I'd like to take the opportunity to narrate a few things about Bishop Downs to the United Pentecostal Church of Northeast India in general, and to the Sison Down Boarding School and Ordinary Gym Children Home Fellowship in particular. God had sent Bishop Downs and his wife Susan Downs to Aizol, the capital city of Mizoram in India, on March 2nd, 1991. As there was no proper airport at the time in Aizol, they landed at Silchar Airport uh, in neighboring Assam state. They were received by the then General Superintendent of Northeast India, Reverend K. Satin Vela, and proceeded together by road to Aizol. They halted for a while at Colorship Town and wrote Aizol. Reverend K. Satin Vela showed the place where the UPC of Northeast India had given effort for the last five years to set up an orphanage home. But it could not materialize yet due to the limited capacity of UPC Northeast India. Meanwhile, God had spoken to the mind of Bishop Downs that led him 
in the desire to be a part of the orphanage. Soon after they completed their ministry in Mizoram, on the town home, through their initiatives and assistances, the audiences in children home, ASC home in short, could be inaugurated on 16 of January 1993, which was specially dedicated by Bishop Downs himself. The day January 16 is being observed as Foundation Day of the Home till today. The town did not stop at its establishment alone. They have been giving their tireless effort with the Calvary Chapel, UPC, Canberra, and the United Pentecostal Church of Australia extending financial help till this day. Their contributions do not end here again. At times, they have brought brethren from abroad to spend time at the orphanage to see the workings of the home and taught the children at the home, played to, uh, with them and nurtured them. They also offer valuable advices to its management and welfare. Presently, there are 27 in-house children, eight boys and 19 girls, looked after by 13 dedicated workers. The home had released 178 children with a reliable job, some a policeman, an army. Some had gone abroad, a hotel management degree holder, on business owners, designers, and so on. One of them who had graduated in nursing, a BSc by degree, had been re-engaged at the home. The other who was trained at Industrial, uh, Industrial Training Institute was also re-engaged as an instructor at the home and looked after the iron and aluminum workshop within the home facility. However, having the orphans are looked after is not enough. They need to be educated and shown the part to face the reality of life. The children whom Sister Susan so loved and cared, same is the case by the children. A school Christian, Susan Down Boarding School, SDBS in short, was then established on May 2, 2002, within the complex of the ASC home. The school emanates education from nursery to class 10. Presently, there are about 450 students. The school is highly blessed by the Lord. It has seen results with flying colors at the state examination board and has been hailed as one of the, uh, the best schools in scholarship district. The contribution of the Downs do not end here. They had given tireless effort to the United Pentecostal Church of Northeast India. The UPC of Australia and the UPC of Northeast India had seen inseparable bond. When the name of Australia is mentioned, Bishop Downs and Sister Downs are in the minds of the UPC, not East India. Because of the Downs, our people have great love Australia and its people. Bishop Downs 
had been a speaker at the General Conference and District Conferences of the United Pentecostal Church of North East India. Many have received Holy Spirit and the yields were healed on the occasions. He had left many footprints and a legacy to the North East India with the many good deeds he had done. The UPC of North East India will never forget his contributions in the times to come. I have come to learn that Bishop Down has chosen to be relieved from his responsibility as a General Superintendent of Australia. Me and the UPC of North East India will really miss him. As a General Superintendent of the United Pentecostal Church of North East India, in particular, and on behalf of the United Pentecostal Church of North East India in general, I pay respect and offer our sincere gratitude to all that he had done for the UPC of North East India. My prayer being God bestow him with great health and long years of life. My best wishes in his entire endeavor in life. May God bless you all. Thank you. I had the privilege to work alongside Brother Downs for 27 years on the executive board, experiencing joy as well as challenges. I observed that Brother Downs, besides the desire to see many souls to be reached with the message of hope and salvation in Jesus, he strived by his teaching and ministry to see not only the ministers and leaders, but every soul affiliated with our organization to reach the point of spiritual and moral purity combined with the excellence of competence. There is no greater joy and satisfaction in the life of a messenger of Jesus Christ at the time of the changing of the guards than to look back and to be able to declare with the Apostle Paul, I have fought a good fight, I have kept the faith, and there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Thank you, Brother Downs, for your irrevocable love, dedication, commitment and sacrifice, being a pillar in the house of the Lord. With brotherly love, Peter Takena. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ from the world headquarters of the United Pentecostal Church International in St. Louis, Missouri, USA. I bring special greetings to the United Pentecostal Church of Australia and especially to brother and sister John Downs. We certainly appreciate your leadership over the years, Brother Downs. You have done an amazing job, a tremendous job, not only in the nation of Australia, but in the surrounding nations that the UPC of Australia has influenced, such as Papua New Guinea and Indonesia, Timor-Leste. And of course, you've served as Secretary of the Global Council, provided strategic leadership at an important time. And of course, not only in the Pacific, but in India and Singapore and other places, uh, the Australian church has really made a difference. You've grown domestically, you've had great impact internationally, and to a great extent, it's because of the leadership of Brother John Downs. So we thank you for your many years of service. We look forward to many years of association in the future. I've certainly enjoyed our times of fellowship and ministry in Australia. My wife and I have appreciated your personal hospitality of you and your wife uh, in your home and showing us a few of the sights of your wonderful nation. So God bless all of you. Congratulations. And we look forward to many wonderful years ahead.